Well, wasn't that lovely? And aren't we lucky living in a country that's so beautiful as Scotland? And the music, well, it was special. I think Kenneth's rendition of the Red Red Rose is a unique one. But I did promise you something a wee bit extra special. The City Lights tonight is not the length that the series was, but you watch the series, now see the movie, a one hour long City Lights with a special guest, Billy Conley, the biggin himself, playing a guardian angel. This is something I've got to see. writing a Christmas card to your estranged wife, Willie. You have to be very sincere. You have to wish her a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and at the same time, make her feel as guilty as sin for leaving you. Yeah? Why not send her one of mine? I got these from Chancel. Now, this one has a picture of Santa on the front. So far, so good. Inside it says, sorry to hear about your wee operation. <laughs> Couldn't be happier at the new addition to your family. <laughs> Congratulations on your bar mitzvah. I suppose it must have been. Yeah, that's all it was. It was all just a bad dream. Really? What's this? I found it in the kitchen. Oh, that? <laughs> that's just a book. Bobby must have left it. Well, cheers, everybody. A happy new... <laughs> A happy... Uh, happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh yes, it's all best bib and tucker tonight for the final sports scene of 1988. That's at 10 o'clock tonight. Our main featured match is the Celtic Hearts game at Parkhead, which is a real treat for you because it's one of the best games I've seen all season. But we'll also take in all of the Premier Division matches played today, plus the outstanding game in Division 1, a game at East End Park Dunfermline, which attracted a huge crowd of almost 13,000 to see Dunfermline play Falkirk. We'll also look back at 10 of the very best goals of the season to date and look ahead a little to 1989. So join us, please, well-dressed, of course, for the Hogmanay sports scene at 10 o'clock. See you then. Sports Scene is just one of the programmes taking us into 1989 here on BBC One Scotland. And after the bells, remember there's mu music through the night from 12.45 with the Eurythmics from FSD and David Bowie. As for the Hogmanay party, here's Bill McHugh. Well, I think it's about time I gave you the guest list for tonight's Hogmanay party at 10 to 12. We've got the three Andys for a start. Andy Stewart, Andy Cameron and Andy Gray. And his pal from City Lights, Gerard Kelly. We've also got Fairground Attraction and the Glasgow Caledonian Strathspey and Real Society celebrating 100 years. Now, years ago, up in Aberdeenshire, life was a wee bit hard. A young girl leaving an orphanage at the age of 16 after spending seven years inside said, I don't want to polish, I don't want to work in farms, I want to write poetry, great poetry, like Shakespeare. 
That wee girl was Jessie Kesson, and the remarkable quote has come true, because here is her story told in The White Bird Passes. On faint hopes and perishing dreams, and the swift breath of unremembering grief. Then, silent as a leaf, the white bird passes. My mum said, if you rushed down the high street in a hurry, you'd never have noticed Lady's Lane at all. So darkly and narrowly does it skulk its cellar wall. But it would almost certainly see you. Run up to Riley's back door and get a steel loaf. Or if it was near the Duchess, on those occasions when she was forcibly removed to Bar Clamp Jail for ten days without the option, it'd be one of the others. My fine queen, take a runny down to losses for a tamara herrings. And while you're out, would you fetch me some water for the pump? Your legs are younger than mine. And I've got something for you. A great big ball. Ah, oh, the colours of the rainbow it is. And there's something else about this ball that I've got. It'll never burst. Annie, please give me a ball. 